passport bros. All Western modern women bare minimum for Western men. What I mean is, many modern women don't like traditionalism. They don't want to be a traditional woman. They hate it. It's disgusting. Blah, disgusting. Whatever. So to some men, they would not be the sort of women they would seek anyway. It's like, okay, well, she's not my sort of woman anyway. She's ranked herself out of my dating options. Yeah, but she thinks it's small. Okay, thank you, woman. But then a traditional woman, one overseas or not in your westernized modern country. So you can understand men looking for a woman woman here not you know just fun an actual woman you can understand them traveling overseas to find a woman and for some men a wife a wife can you blame them no but to men who want more from their woman is a modern woman the bare minimum you are wrong yeah but enough waffling city boys let's begin hold on hold on hold on have y'all ever heard of the movement called the passport bro I just heard about it and I think it's completely insane. So to my understanding, these are American men who are just tired of dating American women, whether they find us too difficult or we're not submissive enough, whatever. So they decide to go overseas and find themselves some foreign love. In all honesty, can you blame them? Why not? You know, a lot of men do live a single life, but not all men want to actually be single. Some men just don't want to date modern Western women. Be it from UK, America, the Europe's, Canada, Australia, whatever modernized, westernized country that you want to talk about. The point women miss is men still like feminine women. Men still like it. That will never go away. A lot of modern women aren't feminine. And you know what? I'm the last person who can judge because of my situation. So I'm not here to diss them, but really... It kind of sounds like you are. I think the idea is insane because of what I have witnessed. I thought you weren't going to diss them, but... I think the idea is insane. Yo, wicked! Okay. Even though, like she said, she's probably in a similar situation, but okay. Okay. ...in my personal life. So for the bros who are just doing this to have a good time, then I don't got to warn y'all because y'all know what's up. But for those of you who are seriously trying to look for love, I, I'm sorry to break it to you, but I doubt that that's going to happen. In the beginning, everything is going to seem amazing, especially with being in a different country. That just does something to you. So you feel like extra good inside, right? Not to mention the girl that you found. She's young. She's gorgeous. Loves to have a good time. She does everything for you and to you. Oh, you're in love. But homegirl? Oh, no. <laughs> she don't even like you. She, in fact, is playing you and is doing this for a come up. And as we know, and as I've said before, a woman is 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 a woman. Hypergamy built in by nature, female nature built in. Yes, of course, men are a come up to women. Even women overseas, you'd have to be quite naive as a man to not think that, you know, you possibly come up for those women. But the point is that she's missing is they have to provide something for a woman or be able to improve a woman's life in some way. Now, from what you've just said, you act as if women in the West don't do the same thing. Ah. Nope. Yeah, they do. So I don't agree that you're guaranteed a better woman, but you are guaranteed better options. Women love traveling just for that reason. To look for men, look for D and look for love. You've got movies and books on it. You went from searching for genuine love to accidentally finding yourself in a transactional relationship. Like no relationship in the West. Like no. <laughs> transactional re relationship. So there's this new movement called Passport Boys. It's when guys, American men, go over to whatever country, find someone, marry them and bring them back. I said this about five days ago when i met a beautiful vietnamese woman that had just that her husband had died she was still great and i thought look at that guy that guy had a great life he married this woman brought her over had a great time she was a, a bombshell you know he obviously had money lived on the beach you know maybe it was a great time yes she had brought in a death certificate because he had just moved himself, but she said it was because of the pandemic i don't know if she did it or not what it doesn't matter either way I'm beginning to jump on board with this whole thing because the dating in this Southern California area is not ideal. And honestly, I'm not even trying to date anymore. I don't have room for another person in my life right now. I'm trying to get things done. But I'm saying in the future, when I'm 40, I'm going over to anywhere else. This post is for all my passport boys. I had a drink, so yeah, I could be like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, I can actually say the things that I want to say. But anyway, 
I was telling my dad about this movement, about this passport boys or guys thing, because I feel like my dad is the OG of the passport boys. So here we have a daughter of an OG passport bro, an older man, an elderly man now. He was a passport bro long before it was ever a term. He was just about that life already. Or the passport man, like he did this back in the 70s. Like my dad was married to an American woman. He got fed up because of her American woman ways. And he totally went down to Panama and chilled there for a minute. Interesting. So he, <laughs> interesting. So he did have an American woman. You know, he did try, obviously, the home supply. That sounds wrong, but you get my point. But he was like, nah, nah, nah. This is not organic. And found my mom. Interesting. When my dad met my mom in Panama, he she did not speak a she didn't speak English. So and she was ten years younger than him. Um. So yeah, like I feel like my dad felt like you know he got perfection. Outstanding. Which he did because I feel like my mom is absolutely perfect, and my mom is not like American women after 46 years of marriage wow my mom definitely is not like american women i feel like my dad may feel like that a little bit but she definitely isn't like my dad is blessed to have my mom he is so blessed when he brought her to this country um you know my mom had her own goals like panama is a third world country so yeah, so coming to America was like a dream to her. Like she was happy, but she liked my dad. She now this part here is where so many men should understand to be careful because does she want you or does she just want, you know, a green card, a passport, her stay in your country, yeah, her citizenship. And then she does what women do, becomes a woman, a modern westernized woman and takes all your stuff, including your soul. Love my dad, but you know, two things can be right. She was happy in America. Um, and he did let her work. For a minute, she didn't work, but you know, she did work. And when she got around American women, all hell broke loose. There was a time that we were sitting at the dinner table and this is after my mom like started going to school and like working and stuff. And my dad's famous quotes were, I am the head of the house. Like he would say that all the time. And one day, and I remember this vividly, one day after my dad was like, I am the head of this house, my mom looked at him and she was like, well, I am the neck that turns the head. Okay. And I think that shook my dad. Like, interesting. I really think that shook him to his core. That's a, it's an interesting point. I mean, you know, it's like, okay, woman, you acknowledge I'm still the head and you know your place. So, in a sense, touche, at least, you know, you let, you let me be a man. Shout out to women that let men be men. Even when sometimes they're wrong, you know, sometimes let a man just be a man. Let him have some wins. Oh my God, just let a man have a win. Well, my mom went on to get two master degrees and work her way up in corporate America. Wow. That did not sit right with my dad. Now, my mom was never a woman to put her education and her work experience, you know, she never used that as a tool to get at my father. I said all that to say this. Um, even though, you know, my parents are still married or whatever, my dad, if he had to do it all over again, I think that my father would probably have stayed in Panama with my mom. But, you know, she still is very different than American women. She definitely is different than American women. And all of you foreign women that these passport guys are talking about, please understand that they don't think that you guys are dumb. They don't, they're not trying to go there to use you or anything. I think that they see the value in you guys as women and you guys are not corrupted like a lot of these American women are. So don't ever feel that way. Your prize. So don't ever feel that way. Your prize. Prize. Discipline above lust, but happiness over what ifs. That way. Your prize. Have. 
nice day. <laughs>